Today we got a chance to go to the Negro League Baseball Museum. It was my first time there. We got a special tour by Bob Kendrick, who is the president of the museum. Thank you so much, United Airlines. They were kind enough to fly out these four youngsters from our ACE program. They are sporting those very cool Chicago American Giants hats from the Negro Leagues. And the only way that you are allowed to take the field here is that you have to earn that right. And you do so by learning their story. The East-West All-Star Classic. This was the Negro League's version of the All-Star Game, and it was played every year at Chicago's Comiskey Park. This is Andrew Rue Foster. He would become uh, the president of the Negro Leagues. He owned the Chicago American Giants, and he managed the Chicago American Giants. Jackie Robinson breaks the color barrier. He doesn't do it for just American-born blacks. He does it for every player of color who now enjoys our great sport. They were back was about Reed Foster because he could have been a Hall of Fame manager, player. I found out that they were a three uh, women that played in baseball. Such a page as his own individual pitches, like yeah, Midnight Rider. Louis Armstrong was supposedly a good baseball player. It was important because we got to get experience to new teams and new people we got to see and just a new culture of baseball. It makes me want to love the game like they did. I really would like to hold the passion like they do it and hopefully make it to the LLB with the same passion. You're now deemed worthy to walk out on the field, as I like to say, with 10 of the baddest brothers to ever <laughs> play this game. <laughs>